It's useless. So uh, he tells me that she's. I mean, not useless, but it's useless. And she's dating. But I'm saying, she's even if you don't don't don't, don't hurt she's yourself, she's because even if you right? get that down, like once she's once I do get this in here, because I can just even if I put it like right here, like what's important is the ability to angle it, you know, up and down too. Carlos says that's important as well. He's an old man. He's got a safe. He's gone for a week. Let's just work with that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you heard it. He's an old man. He's got a safe, and he's gone for a week. Let's just work with that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. Badass suit, though, huh? <laughs> they be sounding like babies for real. <laughs> Commence experiments so 34C, organic atomic reduction. 34C? Maybe we should think. Shrinky organic no tissue is the centerpiece of this technology. I can't go to the buyers with half a break. 36. Oh, 36C? Experiment 34C results negative. Sanitize the workstation, bring in subject 35C. Why are you so disappointed? You know you're working on it. It's number 35. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe they had something special like, ah, I finally know what it is. And then that happened. No one can resist my sweaty balls. Tons of movies and his sweaty balls. He said no one can resist his sweaty balls. I got the poker. Look, we're not the only ones that ordered out. <laughs> Pizza Hut got fans too. Oh, did. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was a lie now, too. Them old dudes gonna be mad at a motherfucker when they see this commercial. Oh, yeah. I wonder if they still collect them. I wonder if they're even more valuable for those who did. You know what I mean? Because kids don't do it no more. It seemed like it, but name one kid you heard of saying, "Oh, I like my train." Oh. Nah, people had people had so much of them they used to get whoopings with the track, which I could. Yeah, yeah so. the uh, race car track. Yeah, I can't I can't relate to it, but I heard it often because I'm black. So we share a love of well, race car tracks with wider. We share a spirit, right. and now we're sharing they didn't break. price with you. Treating you like one of our own. Because Did you get a whooping exactly with one? What you nope. Are. Did your brother? Nope. We didn't have we didn't have a parent that looked like that. Yeah, I uh, my mom she would when she got real real mad, she would grab whatever was in, in sight, but she wouldn't grab stuff like that. And she grabbed a broom, she grabbed oh. Brush, like you know, she just mm -hmm. grabs and so extra swing on you with it. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, yeah, she didn't grab like heavy stuff. Though. I get it, I get it. But my dad, it was formal, right? You know, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna get this work. He wants you to sweat and take a bow and all that kind of shit. And he might postpone it. And James Evan, y'all ass, yeah, they kind of. I don't remember ever. I mean, that's not that I didn't. I know damn well I did. But I don't remember ever my mom ever whooping me. And I only remember my last whooping from my dad. I don't think I got whoopings like that because I was a good girl. Very awesome. Yeah. Like real But the contrast is like a lot of people that say that, like you said, their parents aren't whoopers. But my sister. <laughs> got that ass whooped and I witnessed it and it wasn't traumatizing you know people act like oh you know you teach your kids violence like that fuck y'all and y'all badass non-disciplined kids but I get it some people cross the line but it ain't no thin line between abuse and discipline they need to know 
Sit the fuck down. That's what I'm not doing. My dad, he didn't believe in uh, Yeah. I would like to say that mine didn't either because I feel like they didn't, but my sister's <laughs> arms <laughs> say differently. Well, and I think I, and I heard it before. They say. Yeah, they do. Something go away. They do. How could it help you? For a long time. Yeah. 46 points. Hence, my sister's arms say so now. Claim she got it once. I don't think she ever got an extension cord, but she, I did see her get her ass whooped into the corner of a closet one day. He did. I told you. His mama made you stop. Yeah, but he had enough. <coughs> he was. <laughs> Good. Good for you, baby. Don't take that abuse. I got what he did, but he. Yeah, this pandemic bringing out all the bullshit. They can see in all, all these uh, uh, daddies messing with their kids and shit. Everybody getting called and shit. And good for them. Fuck them for that shit. The sad part is, again, because of the like pandemic, even if you catch them, it's hard to get that child out of the situation because everybody's quarantined. Where they gonna go? Right. You gonna take the PlayStation? <laughs> <laughs> and say <safe> holding? <laughs> That's begging for COVID. <laughs> You got people out of jail. <coughs> oh, that's what I told somebody. I was like, when they was talking about all the people that was about to be released because it's because uh, they decriminalizing it nationally, marijuana. Oh, yeah, they voted on it uh, a couple weeks ago, okay. or maybe last week. What does that mean? What does it mean? See, what does it mean? And that's why how we have to look at right. it. Yeah, when it was something good, when it was something good that happens, we have still have to sit back and be like, what I like a. Uh, like Hank's bed winch say. What does that look like? You need to show us what that looks like. Three counties or yeah. And I told, I told people, I was like, because I was like, congratulations to everybody that's going to be released from jail. And I was like, because everybody was like, you know, all these dead excited, all these people going to get out. I was like, congratulations. I was like, but if y'all think that they going to let all them brothers, this is part of the, uh, uh, replenishing of black bodies that they don't have for testing, that we're not volunteering for testing. If you think they're going to let all those brothers and sisters out for those low marijuana, those non-violent marijuana crimes without mandating that they get stuck first, you got another motherfucking thing coming. Because they're going to have to get vaccinated to get out that home. And I don't know what that looks like in a few years. It's a trial by fire, Scott. In this case, Who is who said that to him? Who's talking to him? A guy in control of the suit? Oh, did he he put the suit on and this is what happened? He said I'm about to steal the suit. I think. Okay. He knows. Remember? That okay, that makes sense. I assumed that when I saw him grab the suit and the guy was watching him, like. Right. So just don't rewind it, but tell me what he, okay, so he put the suit on? Is that what he did, just tried it on? He put it on, he put the thing on. And then he started hearing the voice? No, the button. He pushed it. He ain't even gonna get smushed if he gets stepped on now. Cause he a superhero, right? You don't know. I know, but I'm saying he ain't gonna get smushed if he does get stepped on. Oh shit. No! You know he didn't just happen to walk in no vacuum in ass house, fall into no vacuum in ass house. Right, I was sitting here staring, I was like, I shouldn't be able to stare in the face of a rat that comfortably. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, I'm trying to see how they did the tea. It's not bad for a test drive. Keep the suit, I'll be in touch. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. He said, no, thank you. He was returning that hole right where he found it. He only wanted in his I'm putting this motherfucker back where I found it. You are under arrest. No, I didn't steal anything. I was returning something I stole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, it would kill me if he said, "Go, go play an Italian Good movie boy. or something." <laughs> I was thinking of a. Go do a go go do Good Fellas. Yeah. Oh, this guy. Starting to think that you prefer the inside of a jail cell. What's his name? I can't forget. Oh, uh, Michael Cinderella. Douglas. Yeah. I Sorry. only knew that because I'm high. I have no idea. I was sitting here. I was and like, "How about you looking at him?" But I didn't remember his name. Stuff. I do know stuff you right know now, stuff. especially right now. But let me ask you what ten yeah, plus eight is. You're gonna be one digit off. You're gonna have to spend the rest of your life. In <laughs> I promise. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> Seventeen. Yeah. Nineteen. 19. I promise. You know, I don't expect you to. Ooh, she just nutted on herself, smelling yeah, that by Second chance is still. I suggest you take a real close. This re recent, cause he aged like a motherfucker. This is a uh, 2019, 2018. I don't want to say 17. Damn, he oh, I bet you he ain't doing no more movies. He done. Man, he done 15. Oh there yeah, Ant Man too. Oh yeah, he retired. This is Ant Man too. I bet he wasn't in it. I, I bet he wasn't. <laughs> Prove it. Double down. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. That was the cutest. Oh, I hate. Oh, I hate when they have little cute white kids, and I gotta admit they're cute. <laughs> so fucking cute. They ha they had a scene like that in Despicable Me, when she said, "Uh, he brought him his soup back." They like here you go. They blew it up. Yeah. Oh, they it's small. And yeah. They blew it up. So he gonna put it on to get out. And dude gonna be like, like I said, <laughs> black people don't drop what they drinking like that when they get surprised. <laughs> I seen black. Uh, I seen a bitch fight a whole nother bitch with her drink in her hand. <laughs> It wasn't a drink, it was a cigarette. She <laughs> was smoking a cigarette, whooping her ass. It was like last month or something. It was a, it was a black chick. And she, I think she was a dyke. But she, when they started to fight, she was like, ah, oh, I hate to have to do this. I do not want to have to do this today. She didn't say that. But she threw, she threw her hat down like, God damn it, I didn't want to whoop your ass. She had a cigarette over here. She grabbed this bit and she had her hair with, with one hand and was just just ending her, just hooking and undercutting, which and she flipped around. It was lasting for too long for her to keep that cigarette in her motherfucker. And then she turned around, she yelled at somebody else, and she turned around back because she had spun around and she hit her again. Yeah, get him caught up. And get him caught up. We got a hit. We got a what do you call it? Not a history. A whole. History of hair getting us bitches fucked up. In caveman days, niggas was grabbing hair. <laughs> that hair been trouble. Been trouble. No, I don't want to sleep with you. Give me that hair. Snatch or, or I do want to sleep with you and snatch, grab my hair. <laughs> oh Lord. Did you know white girls fight like that? Grabbing hair. Yeah. They just they just flail their arms more where where black gr girls be directly. It's like shooting. Yeah, White kids they, shoot up everything. Black kids shoot what they want to shoot. Yeah, back in the day though, uh, there was there was a girl that did the it was windmill. Yeah, <laughs> it was windmill. But when you windmilling, it's just y'all too. But like if you if you like rolling everywhere, ain't no windmill. Right, you you right. aiming. But it's on my all girls. So. Who are you? <laughs> he did that good. That one moment where his hands, he did like this, his hands came down and went back up. Are you like, just standing uh, there watching me sleep? This that way? was real. I yes. felt that confusion. Boy. Because the last time you were here, you stole something. Oh. Oh. Hey, I felt that. <laughs> <laughs> I felt that. Like, what? That's a lot of thoughts. The of the she said, Dr. Hey. Pimp. That's what all them say. What time is it is? Yeah, that's a good question. In the middle of all this chaos. I'm supposed to do this. 
Ask them to make a pass. I would just talk to them at this point. They apparently speak English. I assume that you've already met my daughter, Hope. You did? Yes, Mr. Malone. What job? Would you like some tea? Uh, sure. That was very impressive. I'm How looking for Mr. Malone and that man, too. Freezing that metal voice. Those are that man, too. It says them, them dentures are kind of. He got more money than that. Him and him and uh, Danny Glover dentist? need to fire him. I know that's the same dentist, orthodontist. He rather be in jail. Next time you. At first, I was like, "Yeah, put the suit on, get out of jail." But then I was like, "That's why I never finished the the thought earlier, because I was like, that ain't what you really want." <laughs> You do not want to get out of jail right now. You want to go through, just take me to court. Let's do the whole trial. I've been saving shit. up for a long time to get my girlfriend the right laptop. Ant Man and the Wasp. Okay. Pre production 2022. Sure do. We've got sweet deals on tech every day. And get her a Chrome. That's just, fast, that's your clairvoyance center, working. Laptop, what? Best you laptop. just felt like they were making a two, and they're making a two. No, because there is an Ant-Man in the watch. Well, here's something right. I don't see one if it's Ant-Man 2. New car replacement, I think that's considered Ant-Man 2. That's something else. Maybe. But what I'm saying is they haven't yeah. done it yet. Yeah. So yeah. that's yeah. your clairvoyance. Yeah. 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 He's in there too. Okay. He is? Michael Douglas is? Michelle Pfeiffer. She's in it. She's in it. She's in the watch. Okay. So they come out with another one. I wonder can he do that? And this I bet you he have, I bet you he have uh, very few things. Oh, I'm looking at this and this is 2015. He looked like he, uh, he not on his way out, but he looked like he ain't doing no more movies. He ain't sitting on no 20 hour set, 18 hour set. At that age, hey, Danny hey, Glover ain't even gonna do it no more. I bet. Take him out. He's not doing the action, you know. He ain't shooting or nothing. I'm just saying. I bet you he in few scenes. That's all. Man. Okay. Let's see if he in half the move. <laughs> Let's see if he didn't have to move. Experience. Now Roomba vacuums Born exactly 44. where you need it. Hey Google, tell Roomba to vacuum the kitchen cabinet and offers personalized cleaning suggestions for a clean unique to you and your home. Damn near 80. The iRobot Home App, only from iRobot. 76. He don't need to be on no 18 hour motherfucking set. Three layers deep but I don't care what he's doing. He got, he got privilege. I can't dream of, so he can do what he wants to. But. Ah, bro. I recorded this movie. And it's one of them random black Christmas movies, you know. Every once in a while, them motherfuckers be getting me. It was decent, and the storyline was unique. I'm one of those uh, black, kind of black director, independent Christmas movies they be putting out every Christmas. So, are you ready? Was it just May 2020? Mm -mm. Oh, okay. Okay, like this is one I favored it, and it be having them, uh, you know, D-list actors. I mean, well, D-list. Actors, I mean, well, B, I'll give him a B. B list actors in there. What's between B and C? Do you see that? It's McDonald's. Do you see that right there? Yeah, it's B ish. Yeah, it's B ish. It's B ish. Right. List actors. Right, 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 right. Right, right. No, they're not. Yeah, just, yeah. 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 B ish. B ish actors. And they do, they do a lot of plays and whatnot. But um, they had one chick that we saw in another movie. We, we had a couple of movies that we liked her. We liked her in Christmas Bells, but you probably don't remember because I forgot she was in that too until I saw that again. Christmas Bells were them two friends. They were friends. It was kind of goofy at first, but it ended up being a good movie. Uh, one of the girls was well, uh, is, uh, is Amber Riley. I think I never delete, deleted it, so it's, it's still on. Like Years ago, I a it depends on what they can use, him, can or can't use him for huh? at this at this stage. Learn how to change the distance if they have no more use to for him, they might they might give give him COVID. But I don't know. Looking at some period of time. But it, it, none of it even means that because he he ain't really. It's too dangerous. They can't. They really have put a put a trump card. <laughs> and that's when they switch gears. 
It could go either way. They could save him because he's still usable. Or they could. I a protege called Darren Cross. But, uh, and him. I mean, I'm, I'm really learning just how they can end people now. You remember the, the chick I told you that was uh, in BAPS with Halle Berry? And, um, yeah. And, um, and she was also Eve on the Eve sitcom show. And so when she passed away, people was like, oh, uh, you know, everybody shocked. And it turned out she had colon cancer. And so, of course, people wanted, well, you know, I was. Well, how long did she know she had it? You know what I mean? In the process of looking up other stuff, people were saying, you know, Halle Berry was sending out her condolences and all of that, right? But when Halle Berry sent out her condolences, I watch um, that. Uh, it's a comedy hype. It's a it's a channel on YouTube that I watch about. And they interview all all, all the com comedians and all that stuff. You know, Adele. So. You. Because she was a comedic actress, they were talking about it, and Pierre was on there. You know who Pierre is, but you probably don't remember him. He's a light-skinned comic that was just so-so. I didn't like his comedy. Much. I mean, I didn't like it. Yeah. You want me to get some stories? No, no, no. So, oh, yeah. So, uh, he was saying, the, the media outlet that was telling the story, they were talking about how Hallie, you know, sent out her condolences and all that because they worked together in BAPS and all that. Well, they got to him. This is like the third time I've seen him do this. He's like, well, you know, he's like, well, when I talked to, because he was in the movie too. He was in BAPS too, also. So he was saying, well, really? He was like, you know, me and Natalie, you know, we had some time together. We wasn't, but, you know, I, you know, I had known her before the movie. We met on the set and we became real good friends. We had some real cool talks, you know. He's just a real talk motherfucker, you know. We had real good talks, you know. And he was like, uh, so he was trying to find an easy way to say that was bullshit because Hallie, Hallie made uh, Natalie feel like a nobody. Uh, you know what I mean? So, and she was, you know, she was a fat, stumpy friend. Friend anyway. She was. He was like, well, he it was like no shade to Hallie, but I'm just telling you that wasn't the relationship. Well, some, but, somebody of Hallie's. Right, exactly. Exactly. That they was in a movie with, it's right? So Especially if y'all was co-stars of the whole movie, right? right? I get that. That's but my point is, you know, people trying true. to make it seem like, That's oh, they were so business. such good friends because they was on this movie. Not remotely true. Mm -hmm. So he was making that clear first of all and so I, it made me think you know my you know my conspiracy mind be going anyway and so i was thinking i was like oh damn because i always wonder i had asked you a couple years ago i was like you know i wonder what ever happened to her i was like i like her she seemed to dip out of the scene anyway this is her this is what she has said let me just pause this could change you just muted i'm taping this anyway this is what she has said now, so she passed away from from oh, colon cancer recently. Now she was on the Eve show. Anyway, listen to this. Young voices making choices. Let's say you're just starting out and you're about to sign a contract. Don't sign. She it. looked way out right I there. Someone looking at it, and I signed it. I didn't read it. I want to say, okay, I want out of this simply because the contract between us, I thought was over. It was for, it was for four years. It was in the fifth year in person. Hey, I don't want to do business with you anymore. And it was an explosion. And two days later, the lawyer, her lawyer got back to me and said, you can't uh, let me go because that contract you had had a secret clause in it, very small print, and it just seemed like nothing. If we do not re-sign on paper, it will automatically re-sign itself, and you still have one more year with me. And the day it was over, the earthquake. Who was she talking about? Her marriage? She didn't say her names there, but I'm sure she was talking about uh, Eve, on the, on the Eve. She was talking about Eve's people versus her people. 
for the Eve, the Eve sitcom. I'm not putting it all on Eve because it was just Eve, Eve, you know, her name was on the show. I'm sure she didn't write it. You know what I mean? But Eve is married to a multi-billionaire over in motherfucking UK too. Yeah. But that was a long time ago. It was a long time ago. Yeah. It was a long time ago. But like she said, it lasted four years. And in the fifth year, and even the exhaustion with which she is talking about this, this was last year. This interview was last year. Mm -hmm. This interview was last year. Keep in mind, uh, oh, she's also married to a white man. And she's never, you know, they've never been in public. Nobody ever see them. They got three kids. I don't know what the kids look like. You know what I mean? So it's a reason why she dipped. Like she dipped. Did she dip or did she just not get anything else? I don't know what happened, mm -hmm. but it's it's suspect. I don't know. I mean, I have no way of knowing what happened, mm -hmm. but it's all suspect. All suspect. Above pay grade sus suspect to me. Mm -hmm. And if you do a search right now, you will not find a picture of her That's and, what and her Since family. Since she passed, you still have no pictures of her. Mm -mm. So, it ain't my business, but I'm just saying. Otherwise, this mission cannot work. Huh? Don't have time I have to, to screw around. Please, he is listen a criminal. to me, please. I'm your daughter. No! First time you told your daughter no? <laughs> That's what I think. Please, I'm your daughter. No! Please, absolutely not. Took him 40 years. She got it. some... You've seen the footage, you know what Cross is capable of. She still ain't worried. She was like, fuck you, man. Cities. Right. You're right. I think our first move should be calling the Avengers. <laughs> I spent half my life trying to keep this technology out of the hands of the Stark. I'm sure as hell not going to hand deliver it to one now. This is not some cute technology like the Iron Man suit. Okay. This could change the texture can we, of reality. Can we get Superman online? Sound like something he, he could handle. probably too busy dropping cities. Taryn do not like being told no. And he know better than tell me no. He know me my whole life. I will fuck this shit up. <laughs> uh, and you don't know, but you gonna learn. <laughs> you gonna learn too. Come in here making my day. Put me in the middle of this shit. Tell me no. Right? <laughs> Take me back to jail. Right, I'm a thief. I stole some shit. Fuck. She's right, Hank. I need you to be the end. Now, I don't care how independent woman you are, if you overhear that, you should know, okay, this is some man shit that a woman shouldn't be doing. Let me let you, you know what I mean? Your daddy ain't mean you no harm. Your daddy's sitting there saying, I love my daughter. Bitches just can't do this shit. <laughs> you know what? I bet you that's why they came up with the walk. Because a lot of women probably complained about the sexism in it. Michelle wasn't there though. Michelle Pfeiffer. Right. What happened to her? I hope so, because I like her. Too hard. You kill someone Look at her little booty, too. Let me see your fine ass. They're going to pay him back. Oh, she got muscles, huh? You see how. You see how I'm all. I'm looking forward to this. Okay. Hope trained in martial arts at a uh, difficult time. Hope a difficult time. Look at them arms. Yeah. You lost her in a plane crash. <laughs> yeah. No. What'd she do to him? She was showing him how to punch. Yeah, Bro. difficult time. Hope a difficult time remains with you. You want to show me how to punch? Show me. <laughs> are like a bullet. You punch too hard, you kill someone too soft, it's a left tap. In other words, you have to know how to punch. I was in prison for three years, I don't know how to punch. Show me. Terrible. You want to show me how to punch? Show me. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you punch. She's been looking forward to this. No kidding. All right, princess. Let's get back to work. You know, I think this regulator is holding Do you back. not screw with the regulator. If that regulator is compromised, you would go subatomic. What does that mean? It means that you would enter a quantum realm. What does that mean? It means that you would enter a reality where all concepts of time and space become irrelevant once you shrink for all eternity. 
everything that you know and love. You think you're going to a quantum or something? Become irrelevant as you shrink subatomically. What does that mean? It means that you would enter a quantum realm. What does that mean? It means that you would enter a reality where all concepts of time and space become irrelevant. But a quantum for all eternity is a real thing. Everything that Ram. you know and love. Gone forever. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> if it ain't broke, you learned about the suit, but you've yet to learn about your greatest allies. I like whoever writing his lines. I, I think I like the dialogue in this They're movie. I knew that was gonna happen. So cute. You're gonna fuck him up. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the dialogue. Ooh. I knew the muscles wasn't fake. And I like because they're feminine too. They're not man muscles. She is middle aged. They know what she is. Yeah, I like that. I like it a lot. I love it. It is crooked. You know, I'm a Bob cut Bob a sewer. Ain't no reason. It's a big budget movie. And Bob's come back. Like, when you fuck with them, they go right back to the same angle. Shit. Idea of a ground and air transport. Ain't no reason for it to be this guy. She cute in it, though. I'm gonna call. Oh, you okay, Doug? Oh, she killed him with the vagina. He did. He wouldn't be posing like that just to put alcohol on his shit. Why? Why? Who does this? Yeah, in the middle of the dojo. <laughs> I tell them to put the sugar in the. I tell you who. In the middle of the dojo. I tell you who would do it, just like that. Terry Crews. Two different people. The main one. Yeah, I know it's something out there. Is on um, the oval. The dude, the get shot. By her, and he holding his side forever. How many episodes? Had oh yeah, 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 yeah. He would do that. Yeah, he would do it. <laughs> you know. And Actually, the guy that shot him, the the son would do it too. Not that he built no, like. No, she him. shot him. Oh, I know. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. When you first said it, I thought you were talking. About, I know you're talking about. I know you're talking okay, about. Okay. But uh, I was also thinking of uh, that's the other person, Benny, the oval, oval Benny. That's the other person. Yeah. Oh. Because <laughs> <laughs> they, they both uh, Tyler Perry people, right? <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say somebody yeah. on Tyler Perry. Oh, show. that's another thing. So. At one point, I saw that she did a, a Tyler Perry movie, too. And you know how I feel about mm -hmm. when people sign up for Tyler Perry. I was like, you went from that that slave si situation to sign up with Tyler? Oh, I know she was over the industry. I would have dipped, too. All oh, that's happening. just got one punch in. Still <laughs> turning for how long? He finally got one punch in. That vagina move been getting him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it takes them down. Yeah. We don't have time for coddling. The focus should be on helping Scott. Really? What's her deal? Is that what our focus should be? She got so much pent up stuff. Where is it? She middle aged. She had a whole childhood and young adulthood full of bullshit to, to deal with. Okay. You was born here. Right? You was born into this shit. I expect you to know how to do this shit. Maybe her mama got Remember, you had them watching me in the bedroom. Yeah, she got a lot of stuff. Go, uh, she dealing with. Maybe her mom got shrunk in bad or whatever. Went to the quantum. He don't want her to go. The quantum realm. And he's trying to protect her, but she don't. You know, she knows she don't know how to do all this shit. Ah, so they can bring an old, a old actress in to be and uh, get give her some. Uh, uh, comeback cameo, right? Somebody that can play her mother in the quantum realm. I know, like maybe she's not dead there. Maybe she got stuck in the quantum realm, like you said. Oh no! Did you make that third one? No, you had a little one up there. So. Did you make that third one? Yeah, I can get that. 
Morning Star Farms. Rolling Your booty shot on camera. Just got easier with America's favorites made from plants. <clears throat> I don't know. You can't get up. <laughs> yeah. He's damn what I saw. I'm Let Marcos bring comfort to the holidays. Can I give him alcohol? Enjoy unlimited medium one top. Go there. Be careful that the line though. I know. That's why I don't usually keep this over. Yeah, usually I move away. Usually I move away. I don't keep alcohol on this for that reason. You don't have to don't be there because they don't put that because I don't put it there. You are my diamond event. Bro, I done seen all of the people on the internet I need to see blow their face up. Okay, I'm glad you seen it. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't no joke. It, it don't be no little bitty shit. Need little flame. It be... But, but sometimes the alcohol, the remnant flame, be, be apparently invisible. Like Apparently. Like little, slight bluish. Because this last bitch I saw, I know she thought she was done. And I was sitting there, I was like, no. No. What else did she do before she, before she did that? Out, did her baby? What What else did she spray in that whole area? Cause that whole area lit up. Like, well, it was on her face. Cause the blood the fumes build up are worse than the actual liquid. It just went. This is a net for chips and drum and we don't know. I'm grinding something in the little spark. You shot it in the drum. Of alcohol? No, but I was dumping gas in the drum mixed with some oil. And I was cutting something. And sparks were flying. I told you about this, this is over here. And uh, one of the sparks went in the oil drum. And I heard my back and I heard it. Oh, and I just felt heat <laughs> and I was like I turned around it was flames this high so that about two feet high off out of the drum coming up I don't remember you telling me that it wasn't a, uh, a safety well it wasn't but I wasn't in any danger because it was contained into the metal drum but man and even to this day you know, I'm like that dumbass lady that was trying to uh, torch her boyfriend's car and blew up, and she went, <laughs> went back and then ran away, or whatever. Like, <laughs> like, but but she okay. Some people be okay. Yeah, I know. Even if it be ridiculous, right. whatever. But some okay. people don't. But some people don't even look that they be all fucked up. So. Then get get yeah. whatever you gonna get because I'm gonna do my nails. So. Uh, I, I, are you gonna go downstairs? No. Uh, four. What you need? What you need? Oh, I got no. that. <laughs> <laughs> I need a new it's screen. Shit, yeah. It trusts you. Then why are you here? It proves that he loves you. And where are they kept? Oh. Because I was looking for one right before. There. In that thing right there behind you. The it. circular that has always been kept behind your monitor right there. Mm -hmm. Oh, that thing. <laughs> you didn't tell me about that. How am I see that, that thing, that circular thing you know, that's behind and hidden behind it that you can't see right now, but I can see and I know where it is. You didn't say all that. I thought you were talking about this. The thing behind there is this. Yeah, because the other day I was, you was downstairs and I was like, she got a lot of fucking nerve. A lot of fucking nerve. And no reason to be behind no fucking screen. Like, I, I mean, I, I don't even understand. But I chilled. And I just cleaned the, 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 this out and I just kept it moving. And I, oh, I scraped. You know, because sometimes the screen's real bad. You can keep, you can scrape it with the, if this is still in there. You can, you can scrape, you know, the best you can. So that's, that's what I had to do. Okay. So what did you just do with them that fast? This one need to be cut or not with the wire. Let me break it in for you. Good. 
Yeah, so when they go ahead and officially decriminalize it nationally, they let, when they let them motherfuckers out of jail, they're going to stick them hoes. Another convincing. <laughs> what? Join. Like, no, I'm talking about the vets. Oh, oh. oh. Like that's going to replenish the lost black bodies that they There's can't get to volunteer for the vaccination. They have a whole new population of black, of color, of black and brown bodies. They just, they just do it. If they want to buy it a different way. When they, they decriminalize it nationally, let those people with nonviolent marijuana crimes out. But before they get out, you can't go out into a pandemic. Yeah, it's a pandemic. You got to get back. surprised they didn't vaccinate all the fucking prisoners anyway. On site. Because people would go along with that. Right, thinking people that, would. Okay, we're going to control people the, would. the spread in people the People would. And you'd be like, uh, you know, I can get it. Uh, okay, I'll and pass. that's what they would do if they was really interested in testing what it would do in, in terms of herd immunity. If they were really interested. As far as herd immunity. Yes. yes. You know, you take some people out of Yes. Prison. Whereas. But anyway, uh, my point is, they they got they replaced the population of test bodies that they needed. They wasn't coming to volunteer like they have been begging us to do. Look, don't don't finish that. Don't tell me what's <laughs> up. Don't tell me to look at nothing because I don't hey, want to hear it. Theory. Don't tell me to look no, at nothing. This where you think I'm going. Yeah. But that theory, as far as Dr. Fauci saying that, you know, it was. Developed by African American women, so you should take it and develop. That's supposed oh, to wait. Well, oh, that makes sense. Okay. So they told white people that America was discovered by Christopher Columbus. That's why they. So it's yours, they right? <laughs> <laughs> it belongs to you. It, it was it was discovered by somebody your color. It's right, yours. it's yours. Own it. Own it. <laughs> own it. <laughs> what did we see? Who do we see saying it? I own it. Oh, Cat Williams. Uh, Cat Williams, I think. <laughs> I own it. She cried pretty though, so. Uh, I, she grown woman cries. Yeah, I mean, she's she not that pretty, but she pretty. Yeah, she her she ugliness is like that little girl said. <laughs> <laughs> she's so ugly, I love her. This is awesome. It's awesome. Yeah. I'm, I'm fighting whoever here. did this dialogue script. I'm, I'm take, dragging them into the alley and be nasty. Really in that. a good way, though. Yes. See, these these are the... That's the kind of humor they be going for in the movie. The, the box, blockbuster movie sometimes they turn out corny. And it don't and it don't work out right. Yeah. But that kind of humor, yeah, is different because you can kind of. Yeah. It's not no rich, can, no lame ass yeah. one-liners. It's natural. You know, somebody. It's natural shit that people would say. It's witty and maybe right. sometimes inappropriate. Oh, he got hung up. You know, because he just got hung. Yeah. Up and, you know that kind of shit. That lame yeah. ass. Tyler Perry. And he got the look too. Tyler Perry shit. You know what? Yeah, I do. I do know what. We need another. I don't mean it like. Him, but we need another black. We need another Tyler Perry, but not Tyler Perry. Oh God, like yes. Perry. Because he's kind of dominating shows. Oh my God, and, and it needs to that, end. So it needs well, to end. He's got the monopoly on y'all. Like, like fuck, Spike Lee, go to, go train somebody. That's what I was gonna say. God Why don't you hire some people and stop being a fuck? No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm over Tyler. I ain't trying to get him to do nothing different. He's a no, 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 I'm saying. But Spike Lee could go and get a mentor, and and you know what I mean. What about all these young people? That's what I'm saying. They need no. They don't need nobody to mentor Right. Them. They don't need them, but they, they need, need a, a chance. They need a name. They need right. A chance. Right. Yeah. They need a name. They really got it. They yeah. really do have the talent, right. but they de And that name can only be. I, I go to Spike because what other black director that had his own, uh, you know, shit? Do we know? You just don't want them molding them how they would be. Right. So. Lend, some, lend these young creative m bitches your name, Spike, so that we can get we can move Tyler on. I, I would, but they don't want to sign his contract. <laughs> <laughs> they want to bring their manager every time there's a deal. Want to bring? Oh, lawyers and shit. I said, this is just a contract. I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to help you, man. <laughs> And that's just on that level. That's how, that hearing that little interview confirms everything I thought about. You know how I was making speculations yeah. about if you sign up with Oprah or Tyler, you ever. Right. It's in perpetuity and you might not even realize it. It's in perpetuity. Right. Because they are. And, and yeah. you 
dude basically working for supremacy because they're just the uh this is what my theory was i was like they can get the fake black network to get the general black population right so they still run by white you know the bets and stuff like that still still uh pushing the narrative you know what i mean so they can get those to handle the general black population starting from young you know 106 in part starting from young and they leave the religious people black people of which there are the majority under the uh foremanship of tyler and and okra you know what i mean uh, i didn't know what else to say i didn't want to make them sound like gods <laughs> But so they still running our life in general, the black life, but they get some black people to pretend like they helping black the community well, and they run us through them. I think they like, what you're saying is, they're trying to say that they're not going to be racist. Yeah. They don't want to be racist. You know, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. But what I'm saying is the Tyler and Oprah levels, they, at the end of the day, they, they working for, they still working for yeah, the, that's what I'm saying. yeah, like, supremacy, basically. Like all of the fraternities are still overseen by somebody. That's right. Like the Jay-Z and Diddy, they, they are being still puppeted. You know what I mean? Either way. I just want to know where the fuck is Jay-Z, you know, with all this shit going on, Trump, fuck, fuck. What, the fuck what happened to the Super Bowl? All of that shit. <laughs> and I'm still like, he's you reminded me of that. I'm like, they got us all to forget about he's that. Man, I know what I know, so ain't none of this surprised me remotely. Ain't nothing changed. Sorry. Hey, it's me. I ain't amazed at none of this. I told you back when Beyonce hooked up with him, I was like, this, this ain't what this ain't what she thought it think it's gonna be. <laughs> this ain't what this ain't what she thinks. And now look at you. Yeah, you shitting and spitting money and can't find a a a, a moment of Genuine joy. <laughs> huh? You do when you're with your kids. I believe that. And that's it. <laughs> I believe that. You done a strange, probably done a strange salon. You know what I mean? Not on purpose and not in an antagonistic way, but you know, life happens. You know, they lifestyle is different now. She don't fuck with Jay like that. <laughs> so we just we, you know they just not gonna see each other as much it don't mean they love each other less but the bottom line is the end result of signing up with the man is you lose everything what we going be what's on the calendar right i gotta go uh check on for lunch no, was that a meeting I, no we ain't meeting in the elevator i saw a behind the scenes video of her and let me tell you the bitch look exhausted and i'm like oh i know girl. oh i'll be awesome i was like i know i know and you still got them expectations that you had you know what i mean when you a superstar by yourself it's more it's more, it's more. It's more. It's more. It's more. It's more. it's more 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 it makes you think when you grow the fuck up. Are you really rich even when you can afford everything that you want if you can't afford your personal and not only that sharing your personal energy with who you want to share it with? Yeah, no matter how much money and shit you got on whatever level you are, somebody always got more than you. Yeah. I mean who really no, cares? Yeah. Some of them people care about that. Yeah, right. Because if they didn't, to me they will be speaking out on other shit. They're so afraid to fucking say anything that's gonna hurt any part of anything. That's why I understand. Y'all got the voice. Y'all ain't saying shit. Red Bull and like yeah, and even like Jeff Bezos, he's not the richest person in the world. You know, like we, he, you know, he said they said he the first uh, trillionaire, but just people richer than him. But humanity has conditioned uh, a sense of non-contentment with 
with anything. It's nobody content. Like, I'd be content with the least. <laughs> That's why I call myself the maximum minimalist, because I be doing the most with the least. Because <laughs> I ain't no whole minimalist. I, you know, I want the convenience. But come on, like, that's just it's not important. It's who you. Okay. Stop by and get me when you get out. Okay. 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 Oh, yeah. My diabetes is no longer a mystery. Did you drink all this? No, I didn't touch it. You good for you if you're drinking that much water. Oh, I put I filled it up with ice though before I brought it before I I filled it up once, remember? Yeah, I do remember. That's what I'm saying. Good for you if you if you just drink it that much water. Like I said, I drink my water. I don't get credit. Well, what do I just do? Just I mean before I was getting credit. And we'll ensure you get the most Wi-Fi coverage throughout your home. This is XY Complete. Simple, easy, awesome. Get the security, unlimited data, and Wi-Fi coverage yeah, you need. Great. Plus, XY customers yeah, can have XY Complete okay. for $11 a month. Quit call or visit a store yeah, today. Fine. Oh, I thought this was it. Oh. <laughs> so cute. Damien Marley he put 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 in his um uh, put in his locks in a backpack so he could play soccer. Playing soccer with his locks in a backpack because there was just so much of them. Thank you. It was adorable. Even though he had grown as man, it was adorable. You really should have.